member from the Bay Ridge District in Brooklyn, home to the largest Arab community in the state of New York, Councilman Vincent Gentili. Thank you, Linda. Thank you very much. And, you know, it's clear that the NYPD has a very difficult job. As Imam just said, we all want to be safe. But in doing so, they must also understand that there are civil, civil liberties and civil rights that must be respected. Uh, that is the American way, and the Muslim Americans in our community deserve that same type of of protection that every other American uh, is, is afforded. And that's why we're gathered here today, because uh, films of this type uh, tend to cause law enforcement to overlook those civil liberties. And so I say uh, to the commissioner that he needs to, uh, yes, apologize as he has, but also do more and discover how this came to be within the confines of the NYPD and the police academy and how this film got on a loop-to-loop -loop basis in, in the ante room, the waiting room, whatever they call it, it still was playing over and over and over again. And also beyond that, at least, at the very least, debrief those police officers that saw this film and determine what effect this film has had on their perception of the Muslim American community. I represent a big uh, community of Muslim Americans in our community, and frankly, they are offended. They are offended uh, about the suggestions that this film uh, uh, makes, and also concerned about their own liberty, their own civil liberties. And so I stand here today with all those here to say that those civil liberties that we know by our Constitution, the American Constitution, are available to everybody in this uh, community. My community, the Muslim American community, all Americans. And that's why I stand here in solidarity with everyone here today. Should he resign? Should he resign? I think he should investigate. I'm not prepared to say that at this point, but he should do a deeper investigation more than just apologize.